here. We got plenty of time to take pictures. How long? Madison. Madison, how long are they going to be here? Okay, so you got like half an hour. Okay, so yeah, we can do some quick talking and then you guys can split up and you can ask questions and, and everything like that. So, is everybody here for you like AA2? Yeah. yeah, and this is like a little side tour? Mm -hmm. Okay, well this this is far better than anything else you're going to see. <laughs> yeah, and you, and you can see rockets launch all the time. <laughs> so, you're standing underneath crawler number two. We have two of them, the other one's back in the yard. The reason it's here is because late last week we just moved the mobile launch tower up to the pad. Brought it all the way here from the BAB, 4.3 miles away. So. The uh, first day moving it up here, we parked here, and the next day we brought it on top and docked it up there. And then feel free to ask these other folks that we're going to introduce you to, some of the crawler drivers, what uh, what that takes to do to be able to dock this thing. Um, what else we, we, uh, Safety, real quick. Okay, you're walking on a bunch of rocks here, you're standing in a bunch of grass. It's Florida. We have snakes, we have pigs, we have alligators, mosquitoes. Please don't trip. Don't run into anything. Um, you know, you can touch the crawler if you want. You can't hurt anything. It's really greasy. You can take all the pictures you want from down here. Yeah. Crawler number two has been upgraded from the other crawler at the end of the shuttle program. The new SLS program says you're going to have to lift heavier weight. So. <coughs> They were originally designed for 12 million pounds. This one's been upgraded to carry 18 million pounds. So there were a few mods that had to be done. We changed out some roller bearings and some gel hydraulic cylinders and some welded some more steel on, uh, put some bigger brakes on it, that type of stuff. It's quieter. A lot quieter. Yeah, yeah, company coming in here, we put some bigger mufflers, there's the mufflers right over there, we see the exhaust system, a lot quieter than it used to be, but we still have to have a lot of hearing protection. So, single and double hearing protection while we ride. Miles per gallon? Gallon, 32 feet per gallon. <laughs> <laughs> 32 feet. <laughs> Diesel. They come to us, yes. <laughs> 32 feet per gallon. <laughs> we carry 5,000 gallons of diesel on board. We don't need it all to get to the pad. We just like have plenty of to sit around and idle a lot sometimes. Do you want to split up groups? So it's a little personal. Yeah, That's, since it's a big group, what we have here is we have a few of the drivers, Stan Schultz, Brianna Stickler, Brianna Stickler, right. one of all you might be Yeah. Brad Loire, nice. Mike Wisdom. So they're crawler drivers, you can ask them specifics about. No uh, what it takes to run and if you want to, yeah, go <laughs> down to the supervisor over everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah you probably took what you like. Um, oh, yeah. So, you guys, you know, we'll just kind of spread out. Feel free to ask any questions you want. Uh, how much crew does it take to drive this thing going either way? So, yeah, so it takes about 30 people. 30 people are going to be on it at once. At one time. Watching engines, they're watching gauges. Uh, just as you can imagine, down here we're looking at all the different trucks. See this thing's? You got the chassis, and then you've got what we call trucks. There's four trucks, and so we've got people monitoring those, monitoring the steering arms, the injectors, the grease injectors, all those things. So you got four motors. That's right. Simultaneously. So right, and if you look on the end of those, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, pardon me for pointing, but at the end of the, uh, these motors here, these drive motors. 16 of those, four per truck, 375 horsepower each. And they're all driven from an Alco engine, 16 cylinder, 2,750 horsepower. That's what drives it. The gear ratio is the trick, right? When you get something right. like that. So 168 to 1. 
Okay. And, and so one of the things that we did is uh, we increased the size of our traction. These uh, traction roller assemblies before there's 11 per side. It's actually carrying the weight. That's doing the, doing the work. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but when you walk across the crawler weight, did you see all the crushed rocks? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty impressive, right? Yeah. Just knowing what that mobile launcher itself weighs, the chassis, this this thing, six and a half million pounds approximately. So just by itself. It's, it's, Was it 11.1 with the launcher so, so, on it the other day that so they I asked? I did ask question. NASA, and I think that's I. No, it was yeah. 11 point yeah. something. So it was 11,144,328 pounds to be exact. But okay. uh, we also <laughs> had, we also had uh, that's, what our, that's what we measured, but um, that's an approximation. Okay, so there's still going some work on there. So okay. what will each of you going to So we'll be um, driving on this big one. Brand is brand new. Brand new. Other one are so, no, what a job. So, yeah, <laughs> you did great. Yeah. Great, you know, and we're, we're lucky to have her too yeah. as well. So what a great time, you know, as we're starting uh, these builds, uh, this build, uh, you know, America's Mass Space Flight Program. We're, we're honored to have her. So, and you can ask her what her impression is. You know, she was along the role coming out here to begin with. That's cool. What, what do you think? It's really cool. It's a lot. It's a lot to see. There's a lot of different I watched it from across the river. So yeah, I yeah I I saw it come out when you guys started, and then I I was back out at 5 a.m. I put some sunrise pictures up during the Ask NASA thing, so it was very cool. A few years ago, when you were in Jarvis, did you consider this? No, this was not in the scope of my imagination. Did you think that you were ever going to get here when you were there? <laughs> so when you say there, when you say you're drivers, like I imagine there's not one megalomaniac behind one steering wheel. Is there perhaps one on each truck, or how's so, it work? So yeah, there's a, there's one at either end. Now, as we're driving down the crawler way, there's only one driver in control at that time. Now, huh. that person has got all kind of spotters looking out. Right. You can imagine your your view is, is limited actually. And I'll tell you some stuff that you don't know, and what's not written down is, you know, these turns that you see. Um, are right at six degrees. The crawler can make a six degree turn. I don't know wow. what this, the civil engineer who was designing the crawler way said, oh, six degrees, we'll give it six degrees then. So everything is a max turn. And look at all this real estate. We're thinking, why is it <laughs> yeah, so tight? tight. Like this? <laughs> we really have to be, you really, you can imagine if you're late getting into a turn, it's not a good day, you know? So mm, somebody you, handle the you have to, you have to, yeah. to, to, to back out and do it again. <laughs> and there's a there's a little bit of ribbing that goes on if that, if that were to ever happen to you so, as a driver. So, so when you approach the turn, do you have to dry steer it or do you have to three port it? So, so, so this thing actually um, works in great circles. So you've got the, see like these two cabs if we were heading back to the south, they would be turning to the right, while the back two would be turning to the left, you can see. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's to make a circle. How long do you drive for? So uh, coming out here, you know, it's a it's a good twelve hours. To, yeah. The, so we rotate drivers because we make sure we're we're all fresh and that we're uh, we're on our marks. And that. So we kind of break it up by geographically by areas, but uh, no more than an hour, I would say. Oh, okay. Like that. That's at a time. At one right. time. Yeah, at one time. Now, once we get to the pad. We've got to get this crawler, this is the hard thing, we've got to get this thing within one inch relative to the, the front to the back. So we've got a one inch target that we have to hit. So do we go independent at that point and uh, you have two drivers, you've got a front driver and a rear driver actually going in and uh, steering at that time. So it gets interesting. It, it, Going into the bed, but, um, I've driven big things in the same distance. <laughs> <laughs> this thing. Yeah. So you need help, right, with something like this. No, oh, yeah. You know, the thing is, nobody does this by themselves. There's a whole crew that work together and um, actually to make it happen. So I mean, you need help with a 15 pound record. Yeah, yeah, you don't, uh, yeah, you don't uh, call anybody. You've got an issue. That's the other thing, too. If there's an issue, the crawler room actually uh, takes care of it on the spot. You have to. Yep. Wow. So, have you ever had to, uh, like, in the field and place tracks during an operation? We've had to do just about everything, everything. in the field over, over the course of the years, yes. yes. So, yeah, so, so just think about the, the shoes themselves. 2,200 pounds, just one shoe. 
You know, there's 57 of them per belt. Where's the jack stand? You're right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so yeah, we have to actually position it where we can get to it with a, with a forklift. But logistically, it can be can be challenging depending on where it's at. So you're right. That's a good point. That's a very good point. Yes, it's, it's quite a task. It's again, it takes an effort. Think about that while we're rolling out here. It's not just the crawler crew. We've got all our our support personnel. You know, that are standing by, ready to deliver, and provide support, heavy equipment, high crew, uh, logistics, it's a big deal, you know. So, uh, it, it takes a whole, whole village, if you will, to do this thing. It is a village. It is, it is a village. It is. It's amazing. It is, yes. It is. Do you have AC? So there's AC in the, in the cabs and in the well, control room. Okay, yes. that's good. Yes. <laughs> it is good. Yeah. But got Especially people. last week. Oh, oh, it was 108 yeah. that day. I think you guys were Believe me, moving. I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you say? It was like... It was, it was definitely over. Well, yeah, I know Titusville was 108. We were to Hodgson Central, so that day you guys were moving. I felt bad, so... Hey, so what a joy, what a privilege it is to actually yeah. take this out and see this hardware sitting here, getting you ready to go. Knowing the next time that we go out here, we're going to have uh, uh, you know, a vehicle on here. Yeah. It's great. It's we have something new on our landscape. Absolutely. Like, like every morning I'm out on the river, and just be able to see it every day. It's just like it's come. It's closer. Yeah, it's, close. it's that it's much closer. Close. This, this is, is a big effort. This is a big milestone. That eight yeah. Two that you're going to see tomorrow. Big it's another one. Yeah. Very big milestone. The demo was a big milestone. Yeah. So if everything goes right. The next time this thing is at the pad, it will have hardware on it. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's going to be here hardware. for a couple of months, is what September I was told. Because I, I have a friend that actually I'm gonna take this back to I guess probably built the yeah. oh, this yeah. the crawler. So, but yes, um, and he said it would be out there for a couple of months. So just when he was ready to take a vacation, he said, they said, he said you're, they're not, you're not going nowhere. It's going out. So, <laughs> but, all right, I'm going to walk around. Wow.